to be a woman? You've done a lot of work to get to this point, which is why we're going to upgrade you to a woman with PCOS. Am I not going to be able to have kids? You're going to have kids. It's just going to take you a lot longer to get them than you realize. Doing all the other things that I have on my list, it's just going to take me a while, right? No, no. You're going to want kids for a long time. In fact, you're going to have problems with your reproductive systems. That's going to make you feel extremely violently ill several times a month. It's going to affect your mood, your relationships, your self-image but you're gonna really appreciate your kids when they do come. As long as I'm healthy all the other times of the month, it's not gonna bother me. I mean, I really wanna have my kids. I love them so much here and I can't wait to join us all together on earth. Oh no, you're not gonna be healthy the other times of the month. You're gonna struggle with rapid weight gain, cysts all over your body, unexplainable hormonal changes. Everything that happens to you basically is gonna be attributed to PCS. Oh, and this other thing called hypothyroidism. Oh, and anytime you eat food that you love, that has something called gluten in it, it's gonna attack your thyroid and inflame your body. And then you're gonna do okay with dairy, it's just gonna affect your intestines. But after you have your second child, you're gonna stop breathing every time you close your eyes for three days and have to go to the hospital until you realize that you can't have dairy or gluten because how badly it affects your body. Then you're going to appreciate food more. That's the big lesson here. You're going to appreciate food more. You're going to appreciate your children more. All of those things will not be a worry to you at all by the time you've learned your lesson. I'm going there to learn gratitude no matter how big my obstacles are. And that's going to help me love more. Yes, and I know that it's getting harder to understand because you're slowly transitioning to the ego. You're about to be born. 10 minutes ago, this wouldn't have been a big deal to you, but now you're starting to see things from a human perspective. Trust me, when you come back on the other side, all you're gonna care about is the growth you had and all the connections that you made. Oh, oh it's happening now, it's happening now. Well, you were scheduled to be born now, but we decided that it works better with your chart to be born two weeks from now, Plus, with the extra time, you'll be born with something called hip dysplasia. So you'll be unbalanced the rest of your life to remind you to be balanced within your body, mind, and spirit. No, no, I don't need any physical reminders to help me learn my lessons. I feel like the PCOS and all that stuff is enough. Wow, you're being really adamant already. I think we're going to have to add stubbing a toe anytime she's being extra stubborn. Yes, that's going to happen in her pregnancy both times, and she's going to need to wear a boot as well. Don't worry, you're going to do great. Bye.